At this point, I'm not really sure what else I can say about Hanabi as well as the other characters in this show. They're all just really bad people at the end of the day. I mean, this episode, it was interesting as always. It was fascinating. I was interested to see how much worse or even better things could get for this cast. And our main character does, in my opinion, just the most scummy thing she's done so far. As at the core, this was kind of her episode of fighting for control of what she wants to do. Does she want to become what Akane is the teacher and become someone who uses and abuses to fulfill their emptiness and loneliness or does she keep control of who she is kind of a thing and i like how they used imagery and also her seeing her younger self they've been doing it throughout these past few episodes quite well i thought but they went in they were doing some gorgeous animation with color design and all that and i liked how she was kind of fighting for control and her younger self was telling her to pretty much just stop being a kid this isn't the right way but she decides, at least for right now, to follow on the path that Akane goes for, and she wants to steal away all the things that she treasures and have it for her own. But she does just literally the worst thing. It'd be a little different this episode if she didn't tell Mugi that she wants to be a real boyfriend and girlfriend if she was still just friends with benefits is the easy like they're pretty much friends with benefits it's just from an outsider perspective they appear to be boyfriend and girlfriend if they would at least have stuck with that it wouldn't be as scummy at least it's still scummy but it wouldn't feel as scummy but she tells him yeah you know what let's be real boyfriend and girlfriend and then immediately goes and whores around. Th this bitch is just despicable. Like, seriously, she's 100% despicable. You know, I just really enjoy seeing people defend characters like her and say, like, you know, they're not so bad, you know, they're just doing their own thing. And it made me realize that the people who defend these types of characters for not being horrible people are the type of people who are probably why abusive relationships exist where their partner will cheat on them and use them and abuse them and then they'll defend their partner saying you know this happened so it's understandable why he did that or she did that and i never could really like it's like that can't happen like there's no way people are that dumb and then i see people say oh hanabi she's fine she's not doing anything wrong here and i'm just sitting here thinking are you serious right now <laughs> like it's fine to enjoy these characters as i enjoy them in some way just more of a fascination but these are bad characters at the end of the day this is scum's wish in the title it tells you this isn't going to be pleasant characters but this episode it was quite interesting mainly i think the visuals are really what held it together now they didn't always go into that kind of weird colorful palette that they were using near the beginning and also near the ending but i think at the core when they were going inside hanabi's mentality the use of imagery and colors was a really nice touch to really get this across and i've been wondering for a while because i felt like i saw something similar to this in terms of at least background and designs as the design lurch is doing for scums which is very different and unique not only just from their series but other anime that have aired in the past few years but i just realized you know blue spring ride it was a one core romance i read the manga too it was really good sadly the anime didn't adapt the full thing but the design choice for blue spring ride is very similar to scum's wish it's not identical there definitely is major differences in terms of like character designs and things like that but especially with like the backgrounds and things like that it reminds me a lot and also like the shading of blue spring ride i just realized it watching this episode as for a while i've been wondering i feel like i've seen something very similar to this at least design wise and that's what i kind of figured out this episode is like oh this actually reminds me a lot of blue spring ride i'm not sure if i'm the only one feeling that but that's what I got at least. But it's kind of interesting this episode because we get it from two different perspectives mainly. Because of course there's the stuff with her friend and how she just wants to be a toy for Hanabi. She doesn't want her to just kind of throw her away. But on the other side of the spectrum, Mugi sees that, you know, she's probably being a whore to him, you know, a tramp cheating on him. But what's interesting is he essentially does the same thing that she's doing, and he agrees to go on a date with that childhood friend who pretty much stalks him. So they're both doing horrible things, like they're both being horrible. Currently, Hanabi feels like the more horrible of the two, but the entire cast is pretty damn horrible. Either either A, they want to be used by the person they love and they don't care that they don't get their feelings, which my opinion's wrong, but hey, people are going to do what they're going to do. Or we have the people who are willing to use and abuse. And they're all horrible in their own way. The only one who currently 
is not a bad person would be the brother or the teacher that Hanabi grew up with. He's so far the only one who seems like a normal person, but I would not even be surprised if he becomes twisted, you know? Like, that's the only one so far of the main cast that I can look at and say, yeah, I guess he's probably the only one who isn't a scummy bastard. But this is an interesting character dynamics. I'm glad a show like this exists because it's interesting to see it focus pretty much all on the negative and also twist it to be love is kind of the thing that is not allowed instead of sex is not the thing that's allowed. So I'm glad something like this exists. I'm glad it's going to be 12 episodes, but I don't think I need another show like this after Scum's Wish ends. I think it's a really interesting show to watch or to at least have experience because it is such a unique experience. But if like another show similar to this comes down the road within the next couple of seasons, I'm not going to be really interested in watching it, mainly because it's a nice show to watch one time, but for myself, I don't think I need anything like this again afterwards, or at least not in the foreseeable future. But I thought this episode, it was interesting. I think, I'm just hoping that there's gonna be something a little more in the next couple of episodes than just what we have here because at the core either a everyone's using or b everyone's abusing that's one of the thing here but i just kind of hope we get to see maybe a different perspective like you know Mugi's going to be going on that date with a childhood friend maybe go inside her mentality a bit more because currently though it's super interesting watching Hanabi kind of fight for control of who she wants to be I do want to see a little bit more than her just becoming Akane I want to see something else anything different because currently everyone feels sort of the same just they're going at it from different perspectives it's hard to put into words but I just like to see something a bit different and currently out of the core I mean the teacher I mean it would be interested to see what's going through his mentality I'd like to see a bit more from his perspective as currently we've only really seen things from another's perspective looking at him so it'd be interesting seeing inside his mind maybe a flashback from his perspective but also this girl who is going to be going on a date with Mugi there I think it'd be interesting to see something from their perspective if they do that I keep it a bit fresh right now I'm still having a lot of fun but I do think if within the next few episodes if I don't see something like that happen or a new dynamic I think it may get a little repetitive but I'm currently having a lot of fun with it I think the animation the voice acting the music it's still all on point here and I'm still having a lot of fun with it but I'd be interested to hear what people are thinking what do you think of the characters are you pissed off at them that they're all horrible or are you liking them what are you feeling with the character dynamics and where do you see next week's going let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and before you leave hit that like button if you did enjoy the video if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so until next time everyone please take care and have a good one